Hi guys, it's me, the Voodoo Doll, and welcome to my channel, Noir Grimoire. I'm coming to you today to talk to you about aftercare, after spells, like what to do after spell work is done for you, especially love work. I get a lot of emails via my website. Um, my YouTube presence is fairly new, so I'm not really getting a lot of responses via YouTube, but I do want to talk about the things that I do get on my website. So some of the questions I get on my website are how soon before I see results for a love spell, or I want to do an obsession spell, or I broke up with my boyfriend is one I got today, um, and I want to know, uh, you know, can you do this obsession work for me? The answer is yes. The Also, the second part of the answer is you cannot predict how long it's going to take for an obsession or a love spell to work. The reason is, is because it's energy. You're unleashing forces. You know, mine, uh, approach to love and obsession work as I do use deities. Uh, people may refer to them as demons. I prefer to them as, uh, refer to them as ancient gods that uh, via Christianity we have renamed demons, but demon is uh, doesn't mean dark. It's just a name that they have given these ancient gods. So using these ancient beings, I work on the target's mind and their emotions. If you can change someone's mind, you can change their emotions and vice versa. The things that need to happen in their life for them to change their minds may take who knows how long, three months, three weeks, six months. You cannot interfere. So when you pay someone to do spell work for you or love work for you, the best thing to do after a ritual is to forget about it. Don't try to intervene. Don't contact this person. Don't email and pop up, hey, just thinking about you. You're getting in your own way because they need to go through a plethora of introspection, emotions, um, really processing via the help of those beings to be able to, to get to the point that you need to, to be, which is that they miss you and that they want to be with you or that they're sorry and they need to apologize. You interjecting or trying to forcefully interject your will into that only gets into the way. It, it really does. Um, you need to make yourself scarce and make yourself easy to lose. Don't pop up every, every party that they're at and keep texting them and stalking their Facebook. Just leave them alone. When you try to chase energy, it reacts by, uh, you know, fleeing. The harder you try to chase it, the faster it runs in the opposite direction. I've found that when you just sit still and wait and are free of results, like free of lusting for instant results, things manifest quickly. They manifest more quickly. How many times have you dumped somebody and when you just completely leave them alone, then they want to fuck with you. But when you were chasing them, you couldn't get them to act right to save your life. So being free of lusting for results is the most important thing. Do not contact the person. Let the work work for you. Don't work against us. A lot of time, times people work against us, uh, spellcasters, by wanting to chase the person that they cast the spell on. That is not the way to do it. You're going to cast a spell or have someone cast a spell. You're going to forget about it and you're going to work on yourself. The more you love yourself, that more, the more energy you put out, that loving energy and it attracts um, more loving energy and kind. When we're desperate, we repel. And a lot of times we have to look at our own selves, like while we're you know, manifesting these things via magic for our target to do introspection and come back and apologize or realize that they want us back, we have to do the same thing within ourselves. Figure out what about you attracted this individual and attracted this situation. So a lot of time we want to blame the narcissist or the, the abuser. There's something about us that attracted that person, something in us that's broken that attracted that person to us. So a second part of the magic in the aftercare is taking care of yourself and doing your own introspection. Reading psychology books if you need to, going to therapy, fixing yourself, and being a better version of yourself. And when that person comes around, they're going to be a better version of themselves. You know, we're not cursing them. This is uh, love work. You know, so they're hopefully going to become a better ber version of themselves when they've had that space away from you and they're looking at themselves and confronting their shadow, which is very scary. It's very hard to do shadow work. But through these spells that I cast, it kind of forces the person to look at their shadow. It really does. And they come back a better version of what they were. And you should be a better, better version of what you were than when you were in the relationship with the person and hopefully you guys can come together and have a better chance than what you had before. And sometimes the people come back and you realize after doing the work on yourself, you don't even want that person anymore because you're different. 
whether they're different or not. So that is the main advice I can give uh, for spell out, love spell, obsession spell, aftercare is caring for yourself, taking care of yourself, doing what's needed to love yourself, uh, you know, to the utmost level that you can, and you will attract that person back more quickly that way than trying to chase them and being desperate. So do the spell, forget about it, love yourself, work on yourself, try to date other people, try to get that energy out there of just accepting abundance from the universe and being open to whatever comes and, and not stagnating and waiting for this person to contact you. Just be out there and, and be in the energy and the flow of life. And that's the best advice I can give for the quickest and uh, most unconvoluted results. That is what I can tell you. So thank you again for watching. And then if you have any questions or you would like a custom spell done for you, you can contact me on my website, which is www.noirgrimoire.com. Always open to answering your questions. You can email me there or you can email me directly below. My um, direct email address is below as well. Thank you.